There have been quite a few updates to the auto emails since they were originally introduced, so today I just want to make a video that's updated with some of the newer features included in the auto emails, so uh, this will just be a general overview on them. So for starters, if you hover over settings and you do not have an option for auto email templates, uh, if you're an admin, you can do this. If you're not, you need to tell your owner or admin to do this, but they can go into system settings and then system settings again and then they need to check this box to enable auto emails for agents and click save now once this is done it will not automatically send anything out so this can be turned on right away it just gives all users access to the template screen so you'll do that and click save and then you can actually go into the auto email templates and one of the things we change is we just put them in their own tabs so you can see the different tabs for all of the different email templates here so I'll start with final payment reminders uh, to turn these on you do need to check the box for each template that you want to use so check that box and then most of them will also have a trigger date to tell it when to send this so in this case uh, it's the days before the actual final payment due date that you wanted to send, so in this case 7. So if I were to fill this out, check this box, and then put a 7 in here, it will scan your system every morning. And any client that has a trip that is not marked as paid in full, so it really has to be deposited status, and has a final payment due 7 days from today, it will send this email out. Now one of the other features we added is the addition to... Uh, be able to send a secondary email in the event that this one gets sent out the client doesn't respond you could check this box and put a three in here and it would send another email to the client three days before the due date and these templates are a lot more advanced than the older templates you can uh, put different font colors in here you can put backgrounds in you can insert pictures and then you can preview it here and I get asked a lot if there's a way to test this prior to actually sending it to a client. The only real way to test it is to create a profile for yourself and maybe put a trip that's deposited with a final payment due date eight days from today if you had a seven in there. And then tomorrow morning it would send it to you. But uh, from experience I can tell you it will look exactly like it looks on this or in the preview screen and you can pick and choose which ones you want to use so you know if you don't want to start out with the final payment reminders you could start with birthdays and again you can put pictures in there um, inserting them is very easy you can even paste them in if you had it in like a word document but if you want to insert it you can just search for it on your computer click OK and then once it's in there you can drag it to make it whatever size you want so if you want to make it bigger or smaller you can just certainly drag it from one of the corners to change the size of it and each agent is going to need to set these up because it is sent from them so they can send their own or put their own signature in there and the birthday one will not have a trigger date it just sends on the day of the client's birthday by default same thing with the anniversary and then upcoming reservations is is another one that has a few options you can actually set up different templates for different types of travel so you could have something like this for package you know things that would have to do with a client that has a package booked and you could have a totally different template for clients that are going on a cruise and then the set as primary uh, this is for situations where you may have a trip with more than one reservation type under it so let's say you book someone with a package with one supplier that includes air and land and you have a second booking under that and second reservation under that trip for their transfer and maybe a third for their insurance in that situation vacation CRM needs to know which template to send because it'll only send one per trip and in that case normally you're gonna select package so you can set that as the primary so if it sees package insurance and transfer under one trip it knows to send the template for package rather than transfer or insurance and again this one will have the days before the trip date that you want it to send click save another thing that we recently added in the new release was 
uh, responses, auto responses from clients filling out a form. So when a client fills out a payment form, you could turn this on and type in whatever you want and it will send that email to the client when they submit the form to let them know that you did receive it. So you can put whatever you want in there. You can do the same thing for the reservation form or the leads form. And then the last new thing that we've added is the this checkbox here. You can blind copy yourself on these emails. So if you want to be sure that they're going out and you want a copy of them, you can check this box and it will actually send you a copy of those emails. Now if you don't think it's necessary to have a, a blind copy sent to you, you can always go to the client's profile and click on the correspondences tab to make sure it's sent that day. And these typically are going to send out at about 9 a.m. Eastern Time. So wait till after 9 and then check your correspondences. And if it did send, you will see it in there.